I was reading yesterday where we're gonna, you know, we're losing 60,000 welders a year to attrition and old age. So there's a need for them. I mean, you look at uh, you look at the career boards, and you're always gonna see welders needed. So still need people to know how to work with their hands. Not everybody is cut out to sit behind a desk for eight hours a day. And uh, the nice thing is, I think people are starting to realize that now. So you know that was the, uh, gave us an opportunity to get the program going again. You know, coming out of a program like this, you're at a huge advantage. I really think the trades are on an upswing coming back. So here we've got robotic welders and CNC torch tables. The students talk, and they're kind of this year, anyways. They're beating down the doors to get in here. I wanted to be in this program because I've always liked welding. Um, I started last year, we, had a, we have a semester class at this school, and I started with that just to say, well, you know, I'll try it. And it really caught my attention, and I absolutely love it because you make something out of nothing, really. You take the raw material and you make it yourself, and then it makes you feel proud at the end that, hey, I just made this, that's going to do this function. So, If you're getting into the, any type of manufacturing field, automation's there, it's not going away. It's incredible the stuff that robots can do nowadays. And you, I, I feel you'd really be doing a huge disservice if you weren't exposing students to robotics. The nice thing about the Lincoln is it uses the FANUC robot, which I believe I read the FANUC is 65% uh, of all industrial robots out there. So if they go out getting a job somewhere where you may have some people that aren't as technically savvy as some of these guys and uh, you know my guys say, okay give me that thing I know how to run this robot. I'm thinking of going into the field of still hand welding but also I want to know how to use robotics because I've always been an engineering student as well so that kind of helps me out there. Where I've always started with robotics is uh, my father did it and he taught me as a kid you know this is you know this is where it's going it's there's still a lot of hand welding, but it's going to a lot of robotic, automated, just so mass production can be quicker, faster, and look better, be more efficient. The biggest surprise to me was I didn't think it would be this size. I thought it would be, you know, a lot bigger, and I didn't think they could fit so much, you know, technology, so much power into such a small package, but um, they can. It's a whole different thing when you actually get to see a CNC torch going up and down, side to side. That really drives home the, uh, you know, the point. The saying that I always uh, remember is, I hear and I forget, I see and I remember, I do and I understand. And, you know, I definitely see that happening in here. We've added uh, the uh, Vertex, the simulator. That's been really nice because the student can go in and if they're working on something, if they're doing a weld, they can go through that weld several times on the simulator before they actually go and uh, perform it out here in the shop. It's a real nice way to break into the industry, having a strong relationship with Lincoln.